What's up guys, if you want to know how to create text like Gojo, then you're at the right place because in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create one of his text styles. Alright, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is add a text layer. So I'm going to go to the text tool and then click on your scene. And then we'll write Forex, for example. Alright, we'll select our layer and then we'll go to character. And if you don't see this, you can go to window and then character. Then here you can scale it, so let's make it smaller. Like this. And then we'll center the anchor point really quick. So you can do that by holding Ctrl, Alt, and then the home key. As you can see, it's centered. And now you can go to align and then press these two buttons. All right, now let's make it a little bigger like this. And if you want to know what this font is called, it's called blacklisted. And there's also another font that Gojo uses and I'll just link it in the description down below. It's called Hamston. So these are the two fonts that he uses. And there's also another one, but I don't know the name of it. So we're using blacklisted for today. Then also, if you want to know how to set these characters closer or farther from each other, you can just go to the tracking here and then slide this value. All right, then go to this arrow and then animate and then go to stroke width and then do that again and go to stroke color RGB. Then you can set the width to something like eight and the color white and then go to animate one more time and add a fill color RGB and then make it black. Then you should add a solid layer so you can hold control plus Y or you can click here, new and then solid. Then you should drag it below your text layer and then we'll add an effect called fractal noise. All right, we'll keep it basic and then set it to linear. And then you want to set it on clip and then complexity five. Then go to transform and then you can disable this setting here, uniform scaling. And then you can increase the width and make the scale height a little smaller like this. All right, now you can close this one and then make sure you're in the beginning. Go to evolution and keyframe it. Then go to the end where you want it to stop. So somewhere around here and then just slide it to the right, something like this. Then you want to make sure the layer is selected and press U. So you can see your keyframes. Then you want to go to the beginning again and go to transform. And then this setting here, offset turbulence, you want to keyframe it. Then go to this keyframe again, where you ended it. And then you want to increase it to the right. All right, now you can close this. And as you can see, you should be able to have something like this. Then the next thing is to add a tint. So add tint, and then we'll make it a color like dark red. All right, then copy this text layer here. So control plus D. All right, then you want to bring the copied layer below your original layer. Then you can grab this thing here on your solid layer. And if you don't see it, you can go down here and enable this. So then you grab this icon on your solid layer and then you drag it to the copied text layer. Then you want to go to the original text layer and set it to screen. All right, now we'll cut all these layers to where they end. So I'll just go to the keyframes again by pressing U. And then let's select them all with shift and then control shift plus D and then just press delete. All right, now it should look like this. Then the next thing is to offset this a little. So press P and then just go to the right a little and maybe up. Then you want to add a glow. So we'll be adding deep glow, but you can add any glow and then just make it really subtle like this. Then let's make the bottom layer a little darker really quick. So let's add Lumetri color and then in basic correction, you can make it darker. All right, now we want to be able to spread these characters out, but there's one problem because we have two layers that we need to link together because otherwise we won't be able to do this. So, so what we're going to do is add an adjustment layer by holding Ctrl Alt plus Y, or you can right click here, new and then adjustment layer, then add a slider effect. So it's called slider control, then open both your text layers. So this one and this one, and then you want to go to animate again and add tracking. And then here you want to add tracking as well. Then on the tracking amount, you'll see this icon here and you just want to drag it to the slider. Then you want to go to your next layer and do the same thing. All right, then you want to close this layer and then select the adjustment layer again. So you see this and then you want to do the same with this layer. All right, then our way to check if you did it right is to just increase this and then all your text layers should follow. And these two red values should be the same as this one here. All right, so now we'll animate this. So click on the icon here and then make it really small. So something like this, then press U on your layer here, and then you can go to the center and spread it out and then go to the end again, make a keyframe and then go to the very end and then go inwards again. All right, then we'll select all these keyframes, press F9 and go to the graph editor here, then right click and make sure it's on value graph. And now you can make this type of graph.
and it should look like this. All right, a little bit like this. All right, then you can change the scale as well. So just press S, keyframe it, and then make it zero, and then go somewhere around here and make it a hundred, and then go to the very end and make it zero. Then select them all, press F9, go to the graph editor, and then make the same type of graph. All right, now you'll see it's only the white parts. So we'll just copy these keyframes, select them all, Control plus C, go to the other layer, and then Control plus V. All right, and now as you can see, they both move. Okay, so the last thing you can add is a wave warp. So add a wave warp. All right, then keep this at 10 and then make it a really high value. And then let's also put it above the deep glow. So it's a little bit more optimized. Then you just want to copy this. So control plus C and then copy it to the other layer. All right. So this is how you create text like Gojo. Obviously he has a lot more styles, but hopefully this one can help you with your edits. All right. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. All right. Bye bye.